What's up guys, my name is Dave Richmond. Uh, I'm owner of Whitetail Obsession Outdoors. Today, I just wanna make this short video to explain to you guys how to get water for spraying antler grow. There's a few different ways, a couple of ideas that I had that I use here on my own property, and I'm gonna share them with you today. So obviously the first way is if you actually uh, have a you know a, a running water source, as far as a hose bib goes at your, at your property, well water uh, setup, Obviously you guys can use that. The antler grow is pH balanced for any water, so it doesn't matter if it's tap water, well water, rain water, doesn't matter. It can be sprayed and mixed with any type of water. Now for other people, it may be a bit of a challenge to get water because you know most hunting properties don't have, you know, t you know a, a hose bib to where you can just go up, open a hose bib and fill your tank up. So what I did is build a rainwater collection system because there's no water here there is a, a stream that runs through the property but a lot of times it's dry i did dig a hole uh it flows downhill obviously and then i dug a hole in an area for that water to build up so i can go over there every now and then and you know it's it runs very slowly and fills that hole up so i can siphon water out of that and fill my tank up but the next best option is this rainwater collection system i built this last year it's only uh 10 foot across put a gutter on it with a downspout that fill up three 55 gallon drums with a T, a crossover port on each, uh, at the bottom of each barrel. So it helps fill and level out in each barrel. Uh, this works great, I used it last year. So it gives me about 160 gallons of water. It does fill up fairly good with, you know, just that uh, 10 foot uh, roof on there. Now I attached it to an old building and I didn't do it on the other side because that top of that building is just all screwed up. The shingles are, you know, ripped apart and there's a lot of uh, mold and uh, algae and stuff runs down on there. And I didn't want to get that in the tank. So I kind of just built off the side of that. But it's a good way to collect water when you're not at your property. The barrels, it rains, it fills up. You come here, you're ready to spray, you got water. And then I use a, a, a pump, a high flow pump that I attach. You can either put a hose bib on the bottom or you can actually stick the hose down in one of the barrels and you can siphon the water, suck the water out and fill your tank up. It works very well, but it's just a few ideas uh, because I had a lot of people ask like, oh, you know, I'm three hours away from my property. I have no water, what do I do? So if you have a creek, you can siphon it out. Just put an inline filter there so you don't suck up all the dirt through your pump. Rainwater collection system, well water, tap water, uh, a pond, a creek, uh, stream, whatever you have, you can make it work. Just uh, use use your brain a little, and uh, you can come up with some smart ideas, really, uh, on how to get water. Hope that helps, guys. Any questions, post a comment down below. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are feeling good. Any questions, again, leave them down below. I reply to everybody. Thanks, guys. See ya.